I work for the Bournemouth University and I'm the head of the cyber security unit at the university. I chose to join uh, the security environment when I um, took a civil service job up at uh, Blanford for all signals and I taught the signals how to make their networks more secure. Well, my day varies. So uh, it can start off with my team uh, full of practitioners and I'll be looking at what they're doing for the day. Then I'll be looking at a lot of students, usually emails what come in during the night, uh, crisis management, something like that, that they can't get their assignment in on time, they don't know what to write on their assignment, typical student day. I may have a, one or two lectures, one or two seminars that day, so it can be a, a day starts at nine o'clock, ends up somewhere like nine o'clock the following that evening as well, so it can be a long day. And in that time, I'm probably answering quite a few other in, in, invitations to answer this, or go to a committee meeting or something like that. So it's a, quite a varied day, and no one day is the same. Uh, one thing about this job, it is always changing. I think the best bit I really enjoy is watching my students graduate. The day they actually graduate, they take up and go across the stage and pick up their degree. That is a really good day. And it's thinking that I've actually helped them get where they are. But more importantly, they've helped themselves to get where they are. I've just facilitated that process. And I do enjoy that. The bad day is when I have to tell a student why he's failed. Yeah, and where it is a whole different type of uh, behaviour where we've got to explain to them not what they failed with, but how they can recover from that, how they can learn from that, and make themselves a little bit better next time. The industry is a vast area, and then it really depends where you want to look at. So if you're looking at things like cryptology and mathematics of it all, that's one area. If you're looking at how people react to security, social media, digital everything, that's a wholly different space. And in that, you've got a wholly different structures. So I've got people who look at food security. I've got people who look at uh, air traffic control security. I've got people who look at uh, home security. I've got people who look at uh, how, how we do security today and how should, should we be doing it tomorrow. So that there's so many different aspects of security. It's pervasive. It's across the whole of our lives. And it's, you know, it could be, how do you make a smart switch, uh, uh, fridge? You know, new generation of smart fridges, uh, more safe. How do you make a smart television, which is in your home right now, stop recording your conversations in your living room? You know, there's so much going on in that space, uh, and, and a lot of people are not aware of it. You know, a lot of people go out and buy their new latest TV, and not aware that the TV is actually recording all their conversations in their living room. So yeah, it's, it's a big awareness, quite a bit of training, and an awful lot of education. Yes, join it, quick. It's the fastest growing job market in the world. Uh, just been reading a report today at this conference. There is uh, heading up to a million and a half jobs are vacant. Another 200,000 jobs have been created this year. So for a job market, it's a brilliant market. The diversity of it means you, you can look at doing a security job in one area and the next, very next year you can be in a wholly different space doing another security job. But it's in a different sector, different industry, different so the diversity of the, of the job, the, and the creativity of the work is constantly innovative, means it's a really interesting career.